Today we will see the relation between cylindrical and rectangular coordinates. That is the conversion between the rectangular coordinates and cylindrical coordinates. We have seen in our last two videos that is coordinate coordinate system part one, which deals with the rectangular coordinates, and the coordinate systems part two, which deals with the cylindrical coordinates. And we have seen how they are represented in their planes. And now we will see the relationship between the cylindrical and rectangular coordinates. We know that the cylind in cylindrical and rectangular coordinates, Z is same. That is, that's why I have kept this Z differently so that this is same in cylindrical coordinate and in the rectangular coordinates, Z is always same Z. And we will just see the relation between cylindrical and rectangular coordinate, not only as a mathematical thing, but we will see it diagrammatically and more conceptually so that there is no need to remember it as a formula and we can just grasp it whenever it is required okay and suppose consider let's come back to our original figure and suppose if i want to represent this point this particular point and i have drawn a line from here to here and the rectangular coordinates are shown here that is this red line is x axis this green line is y axis and this blue line is z axis and then distance this distance this is x and this is y and this is z okay we will see it more clearly okay see this figure then we will understand clearly what is x what is y and what is z see we are considering this point right this is the point this is the point which we are considering that is this point this is the one which we are going to represent and in rectangular coordinates we will see what it will be this distance is x and this distance is y and this is z that is z is the dis perpendicular distance from the point to x y plane is what we call distance z that is this distance is z and in cylindrical this is the radius of the cylinder which i have represented as as rho and z is same in rectangular and cylindrical z is same this distance and phi is the azimuth angle that is the angle made by the line that is the angle made by the projection of this line onto the xy plane with the x axis that is this is phi and if we see the relation we are pretty clear that cos phi is adjacent side by hypotenuse we know it from our basics of trigonometry cos phi is x by rho so x equal to rho cos phi and sin phi equal to opposite side by hypotenuse that is sin phi is equal to y by rho so rho be y becomes rho sin phi and z is equal to z and ultimately these three are the expressions x equal to rho cos phi and y equal to rho sin phi and z is equal to z thank you if you like the video please subscribe